Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's some sore ideas. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, that was two times the same sentence. Don't mind it. Just, just ignore it. <laughs> We're doing a snowy build again. Uh, I just uploaded one on my channel and I thought why not doing another one. I'm also planning to do more, but I don't know where to have the time for this. I have a week off, but I don't know if I have such... I have so many ideas what to build, but I end up doing just a few of them because I don't have the time. <laughs> but I hope this week was is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of simming. Um, as you can see, it's a 100 tiles home, so it's a tiny home. I don't know how the tires are called. It's One is like micro, then it is small and then tiny. No, it's tiny and then small, I think. So it's a small home. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm really happy with choosing Brindleton Bay as the world where I'm building the house. It's just such a pretty world and I think, uh, yeah. Turned, it turned out quite decent. It took me such a long time to pick the wallpaper because I just wanted to go for this brick, uh, red brick toned uh, wallpaper. But I always feel like it's a lot of brighter with other simmers, and mine always look like so dark, and I don't like it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just scrolling through the whole uh, wallpaper catalog to just not find the right brick I was. Uh, intended to use <laughs> um, yeah I don't remember I think it's a home for three sims and a cat because I placed a cat tree yeah I think I placed a cat tree yeah as I remember correctly I did the build on the 4th December it's been some time because I'm doing the voiceover on the 23rd December as you can see it takes me some time <laughs> I, no, I'm kidding. I, I just took a lot of time. I, editing was quite quick, but I took a lot of time to film the voiceover. <laughs> it was just the last week work and I just didn't find the time to do the voiceover. So I think it's okay that I'm doing it now. Uh, no rescheduling anymore. So I can upload all the speed builds and sh schedule them. And yeah. I hope you enjoy this speed build also. I really had fun doing in snowy environment. Um, I'm also planning, I don't know, I'm thinking I, I wanted to build something today, but I'm not quite sure yet what to start because I recently asked if I should build more exterior heavier builds like as I said in the previous voiceovers, I just genuinely enjoy doing exteriors and landscaping a lot more than doing interiors but I always feel like when I do a big home with a lovely exterior and everything and end up not doing the interior I feel like bad for it because it's not like finished <laughs> and I don't know if it's uh, yeah kind of speed build worthy let me know in the comments if you like furnishing builds, like when I would do just the exterior and let you do the interior. Uh, I would be generally interested to know this. And uh, yeah, just let me know. I'm not sure. I, I personally, um, I don't know if I would do this. So I was just thinking about this. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I just asked if it would be okay to just make a castle or something. I did one. It was the High Garden Castle, but it was just a collab, so <laughs> it was not my idea. And um, yeah, let me know if I should do this. I feel like I would really enjoy doing one. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I recently also did the Colosseum, which was pretty fun because it was also just exterior. <laughs> because there was not really a interior to do and I'm thinking about doing a speed build like of this kind today but I'm not sure yet I don't know I haven't decided to do a small build today or if I should uh, do yeah kind of bigger build and split it but uh, because I don't have a lot of time today 
because I'm just uh, thinking about when should I clean the apartment <laughs> and uh, yeah <laughs> Um, as you can see, I did a lot of overgrown. Uh, let us just enjoy for sure the snowy scape stuff that came with these uh, greenery that you can place around the house. It, it's just so pretty. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And um, yeah, I also am thinking uh, as we were rambling about building, I was also thinking about doing some community lot types again. I planned to do a wedding lot um, because I was just doing a voiceover for a <laughs> home in Tartosa. So the brilliant idea came to my mind to do a um, yeah kind of wedding lot. Um, but I'm not sure yet because I don't know if weddings are still broken. Let me know in the comments. Um, because I don't know uh, I don't already know in which uh, kind of. Uh, I don't know which speed build is going to be uploaded first, so I'm just asking it in uh, several months. And I, yeah, I'm just doing the exterior and landscaping. I end up not putting a lot. I build a fireplace kind of thing. I put some uh, fairy lights around and a car in the front yard. <clears throat> As you can see, my sim is standing there and uh, she just uh, built a snowman. <laughs> I, I did her and I bring her to make playtesting the build. Uh, but she ended up uh, just going away and building a snowman somewhere with some strangers, which is kind of strange, but <laughs> okay. Uh, all you, all you want to do, just do it. Um, I also, yeah, I also, I also asked on Twitter if I should do gameplay and create a sim and also asked on this channel and most of the people are pretty happy about doing uh, more other sims content and um, I don't know, some people are saying like that, some are like that, I also um, made a poll yeah to see if people like channels that are doing all of it or just specific sims content like only building only create a sim and everything and most of them which was a quite surprising thing um, like channels that are doing all of them I'm genuinely very surprised about the result because I personally end up just watching most of the time builders and then I'm watching gameplay persons and everything else uh, for other simmers but most of the time I'm just watching build videos <coughs> and maybe a little simsy <laughs> and maybe a little simsy because she's like you need to watch little simsy there's just no way you can't watch little simsy and I recently was um, watching some of the builds from Rachel Pat. Uh, I really recommend uh, following her on her YouTube channel. Uh, so if she can reach 10,000k, I would, re would be really pleased to see she's reaching this uh, before the end of the year. I think as I saw it correctly, it, she was like at 9,500 or 600, something like that. <laughs> Uh, I binge watched uh, some of her building videos because she's such a good builder. I love her building style, and uh, in comparison to me, she is a yeah more cluttered interior kind of person. Her interiors are like worlds better than mine, and I'm really enjoying um, listening to her and hearing how she rambles about the build. She also posted a. Um, tutorial for decorating and like yeah creating homes in the sims 4 yesterday in uh, collaboration with the sims team and ea and uh, i would genuinely uh, yeah recommend checking it out i'm just gonna link her um, channel and the video in the descri description box um, also her speed builds are really gorgeous and uh, yeah, I, I'm just obsessed with this. 
uh, it gives me so many ideas for my own builds and um, yeah as I'm trying to improve <laughs> I'm also watching uh, I love watching talented uh, simmers to get some ideas what to build and what to yeah make better <laughs> and um, what I watched on her channel that's what I wanted to talk about it was a Bridgerton inspired home it was such a lovely home because it is like a 64 by 64 lot type in uh, Hanford on Bagley. Bagley or Bagley? <laughs> I don't know how to spell the Sims words. Uh, I, I, I end up always thinking only about the world names in the Sims 4. But uh, as I'm thinking about the spelling, it's quite difficult. difficult. So uh, let's call it, call it just Hanford on Bagley. I would call it Bakley. I don't know. <laughs> let me know in the comments if that's correct. <laughs> the Sims team, let me know. Um, yeah, I, so back to the thing I was uh, talking about. Uh, she did a Bridgerton inspired home in Hanford on Bakley on a 64 by 64 lot. And it turned out so, so pretty. I was so jealous. It was so good looking. And she only. Ch she also tried to use a lot of base game and because the base game furniture stuff kind of had, has the vibe and the look of, uh, of these yeah kind of Bridgerton inspired homes I think it's a whole architectural style Bridgerton style <laughs> and she made like these um, grass lines in uh, darker and lighter green which looked so cool I think it took her a lot of time to make the the terrain paint but it it just turned out so pretty i was incredibly incredibly um yeah overwhelmed by by the beauty of the build and uh, i just recommend uh, checking her out it she's just such a gorgeous person and uh, i love uh, hearing her voice of us and watching her builds so a, key, a small little shout out to her and um yeah to my come back to my build um, as you can see I've made some kind of kitchen living room and entranceway combo um, yeah I think it turned out pretty decent I also that's not so usual <laughs> for me uh, put some clutter on the fireplace which I'm very proud of because it looks quite cute <laughs> And as you know, I'm not so good at interiors and I'm pretty that I came up, up with this fantastic idea that nobody else uh, had. <clears throat> and <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing the, uh, the bathroom with a lot of yeah white and black combination. I think it's all functional. Yeah, it, it's functional. I bring my sim here. Sometimes I... So, let me just describe. I'm doing playtesting, yeah? The recent speed builds are all playtested. But sometimes, my sim is just too dumb to use something, and I end up just leaving it like that, even if it's not functional, because it looks prettier. <laughs> I don't know. I know for gameplay simmers, it's bad to leave something like that, but I'm, I'm just a builder, so I'm caring about aesthetics. I don't know, I feel bad to not change some things that are not functional, but I feel like it would make the build uglier, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, most of the items are playtested, and as it is something like the toilet or the bathroom or the kitchen sink or something, I tend to change it just because it's necessary but some other things like smaller things that are not so necessary I end up not changing because of the look. <laughs> I just don't want my bills to look yeah ugly and yeah I'm just struggling with interiors so much and I don't know. I'm doing my very best to playtest them but uh, yeah. Not every time I'm changing everything about it, <laughs> um, but most of it. So, in general, in a bigger general, <laughs> it's quite functional. So, uh, I hope you enjoy uh, playing with the build. Um, what, what was pretty funny, uh, 
I once uh, said someone on t Twitter that I never play with my bills and they were like in shock. <laughs> they was just genuinely shocked around the comment section because how could I not play with my bills? And I'm like, I'm happy if I manage to do at least bills. <laughs> so when should I have the time to do, yeah, so I'm playing with the bills. <laughs> because I always... It, at some time, I'm just feeling genuinely bad for just playing The Sims and not really recording something because I feel like it's a waste of time. But but it's a dumb way of thinking because it's not a waste of time because it's a game I love. And um, yeah, it's just like a personal... I don't know how to call it, but this, I, I just feel bad because I think, uh, yeah, you should have yeah you should have take your time for something better <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah i feel like i should have took the time to to build something or at least record something and yeah so i was thinking about uh, recording gameplay this would solve my problem i think it's just something personal that uh, nobody would understand uh, but it's just sometimes it's a small little pressure to just create content and you want to approve and post a lot of content so yeah yeah just 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 some weird thinking <laughs> as you can see we are in the end of the speed build oh the speed builds are going so fast today um i'm just doing some gameplay footages as you see my sim is swinging on the swing set and she is sitting at the fireplace she is enjoying her life and her new home um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed builders a small dia show at the end and uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll hear and see you soon. Bye everybody.